What is up guys, TSL here back with a brand new video. In today's video we will be continuing our how to make pets in Roblox tutorial series. Now in today's video we will get started on the inventory. This will probably take a few videos to get all the functions of the inventory like well the inventory, the GUI, the deleting of pets and the evolving of pets and yeah stuff like that. Um, and yeah. So this series is kind of like a prequel to a series I will be starting once this series finishes and that will be how to make a game like Pet Simulator X and if you guys want to make that then you have to follow this series anyways because this is going to be used in that series. So yeah. Alright so anyways the first thing I had to do while we were away is go inside of all three of our pet mod models and add an a string value called evo and it just set the value starts at basic a level that's value starts at zero but this should actually start at one for all of these a multi for the bunny it starts at 1.4 and the pid for all of them start at zero so the only thing that changes between these is the multi so for the cat it's a 1.25 multi and let me change the level back to one and for the dog it's a 1.75 multi so that's the only thing that changes between these these models so the next thing you'll see in replicated storage I have a folder called inventory now this is just an empty folder because it gets populated when we join the game so to do that in our leader stat script I just made I just created a new instance of a folder called it the player's name dot dot pet inventory and then I just set the parent to that inventory folder in replicated storage okay so then what I did you don't even have to worry about this because this is the same thing as last time so the next step I took is we had this hatch function that basically hatched the pet and immediately equipped him so I split up the equip part into a different pet colon equip function and instead of like so to get the choice from that we have to do a self dot name because the name is the choice and actually we don't even need the choice anymore I just realized because we actually found a different way to get the pet a better way so before I show you guys that better way the next step I took is in our pet dot hatch down here I added this PID which stands for uh, pet ID because they each have to have their own unique ID so we can make sure we're um, accessing the right pet. So if we then, the, we set the PID of the new pet to the game's replicated storage, the number of things in our, um, in our inventory, so the number of pets in our inventory. And then we just make a new model of the pet. So we just, just clone the model out of replicated storage pets, the choice, we clone it into that inventory and we also set the model's PID dot value equal to the new pet's PID. So then they will be referencing each other. So that is very, uh, well, that PID is going to be very, very useful in making things like deleting, evolving, and just like finding certain pet like how we used it right now as of right now the only way we used it is with this pet.findPet function which just takes in the PID and the player. So we start off setting a found pet model equal to nil that variable then we loop through every model every pet model inside of our inventory we check if their PID's value is equal to the PID if it is then we set the found pet model equal to pet model we break out of the loop and then we just return the pet model. All right, and then the last change I made is I just made this create pet instance. So basically this will take in a pet model and return a instance based on that pet model. And I actually have to add one more thing to this. So a pet new pet.pid is equal to pet model.pid dot value. And these all should have dot value except for the name because the name is just the name of the model all right so this should be everything you guys need these are all the changes i made 
So once you guys have that, we can move on to the next thing, which I think will be making the GUI. Also, just one last thing, I changed this to be new pet so we don't get confused with the actual pet uh, thingy. So yeah, that works nice. And right now I commented out the pet equip, but if I uncomment that out and then I click play here to play where our egg is and I open it, you see everything works just the same as it did last video, except we have an error right now when we tried to get our second pet. So, pet.findpet self.pid comma player. So we should have two pets in our inventory, which we do. We have a bunny and a cat. The one that we have equipped is a cat, so the one that's airing is the bunny. The PID is set to a zero. Okay, so this is where the error is being thrown because, well, bad stuff is happening. So first of all, the model's PID value is not set correctly. Um, so let me just uh, try to fix this real quick and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I think I figured out what the problem is. So the problem is we were setting the, um, the PID of the model and not the cloned model. So we, set, we put the clone on the model variable itself and then just put the parent of the model variable, which is the cloned version, to that and the, the clone model's PID value. So basically what was happening is we were trying to set the model, the one that is just in our pets uh, folder in replicated storage, not our inventory folder in replicated storage. We were trying to set that PID equal to the PID value instead of the one in our inventory. So now we get our first one, we get our second one, and we get our third one. And if we open this again, uh, we actually get a fourth one which is not good, but we can fix that pretty easily. All right, guys, so like I said, it was a pretty simple fix. All I had to do was move the code above this if statement that gives us the amount of equipped pets we have, or this equipped pets table. So we have to move it up here to the top of our script, check to make sure that our the number of equipped pets we have is less than four. And if it is, then we can do all of our cloning stuff and then do this. Alright guys, so let me show you that. So if we go up to the egg, we open it. Here we have a dog, we get a bunny, we get another bunny, and if I open it again, I didn't get a pet equipped, but if we go into replicated storage in my inventory, you see I have four. I actually have four pets, just three equipped. Alright, cool. So the next thing we will do is our inventory GUI, but we won't really make like anything special for it in this video. That will be safe for next video, but we might just do the layout. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's just start off with a screen GUI and starter GUI. We could call it inventory GUI. Inside of it, we just want to have a frame. We can insert a UI corner into the frame. We can make this frame 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0. We can make the position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0. And the anchor point to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5, so it's right in the middle. All right, so the next thing I want to do is make it like a lightish blue color. So like that. And... Um, that looks pretty good. So the next thing we want to do is have a UI or another frame inside of it actually. This will be a scrolling frame and this will take up most of the frame. So we'll say like 0 0.7 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0. Yeah, something like that works pretty good. And if we just make the background transparency to 1 on this and the inside of it we want a UI grid layout. So it will lay out in a grid. And then inside of it, let's just make a simple, uh, like a circle. Is there like anything for that? Like UI corner. And maybe we can make the corner radius to like one comma one. And now we have a circle. So then we can make the size. Actually, we can't make the size anything in here. We have to go into grid layout and set the cell size to, let's say, 0. Uh, 0 0.3 comma 0 comma 0 0.3 comma 0 
and that's actually way too big on the Y, so let's make that 0 0.15 or 0 0.2 on the Y, and there we go. We also want to have a cell padding of like 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0, and then we just want to take this away from this edge a little, not the frame, the scrolling frame, like that and like that. So now if let's just say we duplicated this a bunch of times, you see it looks like that and that's actually way too much padding. So let's say like 0 0.01 or 0 0.03. And then for the, on the Y, let's do the same thing. So now if we have all of these, then that looks pretty good other than these circles are way too big. So if we make the, cell size to like 0 0.2 on the X and 0 0.1 on the Y or 0 0.15 on the Y. 1, 3, that looks good. That looks much better. And then let's just set the background color to actually pretty much the same thing as our frame. So we'll copy that color and put that in here. And then we just wanna go over here and just make it darker. Something like, something like that. That looks pretty good. And if we duplicate this a whole bunch of times, you see this is what it will look like and we can scroll. So yeah, it looks overall pretty good. So that, that's nice. Let, how many slots should we have? Let's do like 15. One, two, three. Let's see. We'll name this to slot and we'll do slot one. slot two, slot three, and so on. I'll be back soon. All right guys, well I'm back and I decided to do 16, um, 16 of these slots. I don't know why it took me so long to, f to figure out. And yeah, so that looks pretty nice actually. And next thing we'll do is actually just populate these slots with our pets. Now this we will save for a future video because I will make the icons for the pets before the next video. You can also use viewport frames, but I do not want to do that because I hate viewport frames like with a lot of passion, even though I've used them so many times. They're, they are useful for certain cases, but this is just no. Alright guys, well anyways, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video and this helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Now remember, next video we will be making this inventory system actually show what pets we have and maybe even like show the stats and maybe even do deleting. Uh, I'm not sure how far we'll get in that video, but anyways, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on the next videos. Anyways guys, see you in the next one. Bye.